At 5.18 p.m. on Tuesday, June 21, 2022, the Fontana Police Department's Rapid Response Team was conducting an undercover operation involving the illegal sales of an assault rifle at 3870 Sierra Avenue in Fontana. The firearm being sold was a ghost gun. A ghost gun is a non-serialized and non-traceable firearm that can be bought online and assembled at home. Across the nation, the sale and possession of ghost guns has become an alarming trend. Our rapid response team has been at the forefront of this issue in an attempt to further protect our community. Since January 1, 2022, the rapid response team has taken more than 200 illegal guns off of the street during investigations and gun buy operations. Our department as a whole is on pace to recover over 1,000 of these illegally possessed firearms in 2022. Prior to the suspects arriving to conduct the illegal gun sale, officers had identified one of the suspects and observed multiple images of him holding firearms. The officers approached the suspect vehicle, utilizing their lights and sirens to identify themselves as police officers. They positioned their vehicles to box in the parked suspect vehicle in an attempt to prevent escape and reduce the potential of a dangerous pursuit. The officers exited their vehicles wearing clearly marked police vests and ordered the suspects to put their hands up. The driver of the vehicle then reversed and violently rammed one of the unmarked police units. Hands up! As officers approached the vehicle, they continued to order the suspects to put their hands up and to exit the vehicle. The passenger's door was opened by an officer to detain the occupants. At that time, the officer saw the passenger holding what he believed to be a handgun. The belief was based in part on the fact that these suspects were involved in the illegal sales of untraceable firearms, prior knowledge of the suspect's weapons possession, and they were at the location to in fact sell a firearm to the officer. The suspect's behavior, hand positioning, and movement were consistent with the officer's reasonable belief that the object in his hand was a firearm. Simultaneously, the vehicle quickly accelerated forward over a curb, and this is when the officer involved shooting occurred. Hey, put your hands up! The suspect vehicle continued to speed away and struck a marked police unit in the process. The suspect then led officers on a pursuit. While traveling south on Sierra Avenue near Summit, a pursuit intervention technique was authorized to safely end the pursuit and protect the lives of the public. This technique is known as a pit maneuver and is meant to safely disable the suspect's vehicle. Goody, are you pit certified? Confirm. All right, go ahead and bump up. This is perfect. You want to try to get a bit. Can we start uh, airship please? Pretty things around. After this uh, row of cars, I'll do it. However, the initial pit was unsuccessful and the pursuit continued. The suspect led officers on a high speed pursuit through various cities and on multiple freeways. And speeds are about 90 now, and traffic is still about medium to light. Ten eastbound, number one lane, all the way over to the number three, passing South Waterman. Passing South Waterman. A second pit maneuver was conducted as the vehicle slowed from the severely damaged front tire. The second pit was successful, and the pursuit ended in the city of Redlands on the I-10 freeway. Uh, our speeds are about down to 60, 
He's got no front He's got tire. no front right, right tire. He's got, uh, and he's catching fire here, so. Uh, we're going uh, under Tennessee now. 21, uh, go ahead, Jeff. Got it. Uh, vehicle's on fire, looks like the front right. You know, it's making his approach for the pit. Pit maneuver, vehicle spun, facing westbound and eastbound lanes 210. Once the suspect vehicle was stopped, the driver was ordered out of the vehicle and detained. The driver was identified as Adolfo Quintana from Fontana. He was arrested and booked for assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer and evading arrest. Quintana's previous arrests include multiple violations of parole and probation violations, multiple resisting arrests, multiple narcotic violations, and being a felon with a firearm to include burglary and robbery. As the driver was detained, officers approached the vehicle and found the front passenger unconscious with a single gunshot wound. He was removed from the vehicle and given medical attention. The fire department and paramedics had already been called and arrived shortly after to continue to render medical aid. The passenger was taken to a nearby hospital and ultimately died as a result of the gunshot wound. The passenger was identified as Darnell Travis from Hemet. Travis had an extensive criminal history He's been arrested for multiple firearm violations, robbery, stolen vehicles, evading arrest, burglary, and multiple probation and parole violations. During a search of the suspect vehicle, a loaded AR-15-style ghost gun rifle was located.